Okay. Okay. Just, and just finally, you know, is there any truth from the Ferret Online report of the delayed delivery of the submarine Audacious from 2019 to 2020 with possible subsequent impact on the introduction of the class itself, meaning that the ageing Trafalgar class are attained for a longer period of time, and if such, what's the impact on the funding gap? Uh, I saw that in the media today. The, it, there is a delay to one of the astutes. Uh, while we have fixed a problem that surfaced in the currently being built astute, uh, which will mean that that astute, uh, but, but overall, uh, the astute program of which there are a number of boats already uh, out there uh, will 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 continue to be delivered. Uh, I'm not sure about the overall knock-on to the impact that it. Uh, Can we just check one point, uh, and that is, I understand the delay is a very long one, from August mm -hmm. 19 to January 21. Um, so that's uh, what 17 months or something of that sort. Um, is the, the fault, which apparently is having to be repaired, according to what Stephen Lovegrove, we gather, wrote to the Public Accounts Committee, is this a fault that has not occurred in the first three boats that are out there? I um, understand that's the case, yeah. Chair. This and is, is there any reason to believe that this fault uh, it was going to occur in the, the last three boats, or is, it, and, and, or is it something that was unique to boat number four out of seven? Um, my understanding is it, is it is something that we don't think we repeated in the other boats. It is a unique uh, issue that we address by bringing forward from a later boat to replace. So, so, so it was just something that crept in for the first time uh, into boat four in the cycle of... That, that's my understanding of that particular problem. So but just finally, but back on the main point is that that will therefore have an impact on the Trafalgar class which will be retained for longer. Any and, delay, and an impact yeah. on the budget. Any yes, I mean any delay in any program mm. that forces us to extend older platforms yeah. costs us money. Which technically means the money you were talking about earlier, you might have to go into that money that you've received to cover that period. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure how much it actually costs to extend, let's say, a Trafalgar class six months. I don't know how. Hell's a lot, I can imagine. You know. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's it's relatively modest because it's the, uh, the, the you would be running another submarine anyway if, if Audacious had come in mm -hmm. on time. So it's the additional maintenance associated with the Trafalgar class. Oh, really? the that class are years late. It's been a disaster. Yeah. They're years late, all of them. It's not just boat four, they're all late. Uh, the question was specifically around extending the Trafalgar class to deal with Audacious. You're absolutely right, the astute class is uh, been delayed over a number of And it's years. cost us a fortune to run on the Trafalgar's. Some of them are 30 years old, they're nearly exhausted. They're knackered, basically, in common parlance, because something went horribly wrong at Barrow and has gone, continued to go horribly wrong for years. Well, what, 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 what went wrong, surely, uh, was that there was a huge gap between one generation of nuclear submarines being built at Barrow and the start of the astute class. And so, so this issue is very well documented. So that is one of the, the number This of shows factors. what happens when one's armed forces get to such a, a low quantitative level that despite their high quality, you are not able to keep up a, a, a steady drumbeat of orders. Sure, That's can why I? we're so anxious about uh, our shipbuilding and yeah. Boat building in the case of submarines policy. Can I can I just finish? Uh, whilst I may not agree with the rest of the committee in terms of the nuclear deterrent, I am grateful for the Secretary of State's honesty, and it is uh, about time that we had a Secretary of State who was as honest as the one we've got in front of.